Well, welcome back. Time for our very first hot topic. You are on your own. The party has not decided on the sharing formula. That's the statement by the chairman of the APC, Abdullahi Adamu, to the National Assembly leadership as unveiled principal officers. And we have been joined to discuss this this morning by Honorable Dr. Shinawa Ibrahim. He's a political analyst. Good morning, Honorable Ibrahim. Good morning. Uh, it's nice to see you guys. Uh, how are you doing? Good morning, Nigerians. I'm good. Glad to have you join us. First of all, let's start with your assessment or your take on this fiction that is brewing. Um, good morning once again. Um, there's nothing really happening in uh, a progressive Congress. Uh, it's just a game of interest. You know, don't forget that we are not in a political season again. Uh, governance has commenced. Uh, we have the president, we have the vice president, we have all the kitchen cabinets, you know, uh, ready to work. And the National Assembly will not be able to wait for anybody to constitute his own leadership so that the standing committees can commence, you know, uh, the screening of the ministers, you know, and other senior government officials, you know, oversight and other functions. So um, I don't want us to do more about, you know, people not, you know, satisfied with the list of the leadership of the National Assembly. It's not really a big deal. It's just a normal process in politics, you know. Uh, things happen like that. You go here, somebody go B and C. So it's, it's okay, it's all right. But don't forget that the House has commenced. Uh, the proceedings of yesterday was, you know, thoroughly uh, published and, you know, you know, analyzed. And the House and the Senate has commenced their, their duty, their constitutional duty. Uh, very soon, the list of the... Standing committees, you know, will be released, and you know, the Nigerians will benefit from what they voted for. You know. So, so it's not this, really so something this, we should. So this is not uh, a case uh, really of. Dwell on. So this is not a case of a house divided against itself. I mean, because the, the, the chairman of the party, the APC, is saying we have a sharing formula, and this does not reflect it. We have not shown who uh, and how these principal officers should be se uh, selected as a party. You do not see this as a party divided against the staff, especially since the Senate president is from that party. Um, you know, I would like to be a little bit cautious about, you know, because this is not the time for politics again. I'm a member of the National Presidential Campaign Council of mm -hmm. that party and also served on a professional body as a PhD holder, you know, um, work on different public policy, you know, for the party and, you know, other institutions, you know. I know uh, Senator Adam very well, right from his governorship days when he was serving as a governor of Nasarawa. You know, when you have interest in different people, unfortunately, your interests turn to fictions, you know, you're unable to actualize your dream. You know, sometimes, you know, you still have this, you know, residue of, you know, you know, you know, failure. So uh, uh, there's no way the constitution that confirmed on the party that the party must, you know, nominate or advise the leadership of the National Assembly. Those are unconstitutional statements, so I, I would suggest we shouldn't bother ourselves. We have a lot of national issues to discuss about what Bola Ahmed is doing, you know, you know in government. So, so this, and friction, this friction is good for democracy, you're saying? It's a brilliant one for democracy. It's not even good for it. What the, the friction is not there. You know, we are expecting PDP to raise eyebrow. We are expecting PDP and Labour Party. You know, well, they have discuss. raised eyebrow. They have raised eyebrow, and they are saying it's pure selection. It's it's pure appointment. Uh, that um, that th what it shows is that the National Assembly has mortgaged its independence. That's the view coming from the Labour Party. Unfortunately, I've not, you know, seen where the official statement was released by Labour Party or PDP. If you are talking about selection, absolutely, it's about selection. Selected by the member, of, elected member of the National Assembly. You know, when you voted into the National Assembly, you know, people need to be enlightened, including the leadership of who are who are objecting to what the national leadership of the National Assembly has done. They need to be enlightened. They need even the party needs to go for. You know some some you know section of you know political uh uh you know you know you know rejigging 
you know, th we are talking about a constituted assembly here. They were elected by their constituencies. Once they get into national assembly, the process of selecting leadership of, is between the 400 and 403 or so, you know, elected members. So if the even, let's assume the party even has sent its own list, it would not still fly if the members in there don't agree with them. It has happened. Look at Tambua, doing Tambua and uh, Mulikat. Look at um, 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 Dugara and, and Adia Obaja. Look at the issue at that time. The party set in their own list. Still it doesn't work. Still it doesn't work. So it's all, it's all about, you know, it's, it's internal politics between, within the leader, within the elected member of the National Assembly. So the party, for me, is from scholars who say the party is just proposing because your recommendation, your, your advice is going to be a recommendation, just, a, just an advice. So are you, so that's why I said there's no issue at all. We should focus on governance. What is going on in governance? What is Bolamet Tinubu doing? Those are the things that we should discuss. It's not about somebody is not happy, he's not happy. He's from the North Central. North Central has produced the deputy. In fact, he should be even be happy. I don't know if the national chairman actually said that, but I think I was read, I was reading in a few, you know, uh, uh, platforms, but you know, it's not a big deal, you know. The party has moved on, and those are those lists, those names on that list are credible Nigerians, you know, cut across, you know, um, um, every section of this country. So, anybody flipping is just, you know, um, it's just don't what you know, discussing at all. Okay, well, Adamu <laughs> is flipping, uh, <laughs> he happens to be uh, the chairman of the party um, that uh, produced the president. And from what you're saying, um, uh, he should be dismissed. And in fact, on the headline today on the Punch newspaper, we hear that um, Adamu uh, is going to meet uh, with President Tunubu over this matter. This means that it is something that he considers important. Matter of fact, there are also um, um, some statements from some quarters that this is actually a cold war between Adamo and President Tinubu, and uh, this is just some of the things playing out as a result of that cold war. How do you respond to this? What is the cold war? I don't understand what's the cold war. You know, actually, Adamo is very busy now. It's having, you know, his election is clearly contested. He lost Lagos for the first time. He lost Lagos for the first time. He lost Kano. He lost Kasina. He lost major spot of this country. So the victory of Ashwadu is a victory for ordinary Nigerians on the streets. And if you look at his policies, most of his policies, policy, policies are ordinary for ordinary Nigerians, ensuring that he left a great legacy. He needs nothing from anybody right now than he wants to write his name in the court, court of gold. In the annals, uh, you know, and the fabrics of this country, you know, you don't want us to go back to the primary. You know, I'm a delegate in that primary, and I'm, I'm a member of the, you know, uh, of planning committee of the of the primary. I don't want to, even from the convention. I don't want us to go back there because if you go back there, we will be looking at those people who are who are who are flipping. I repeat it again. Mm. Now that they have no moral justifications, they have no, you know. In fact, I don't want to use some, you know, some, some, some words. You know, when, you know, I, I would suggest we should leave it at that. Is the national chairman is, you know, welcome? Is, is, you know, is entitled to meet with the president if the schedule allows? Because he's busy. If the schedule he allows, succeeded. he needs to. Yes, I repeat, if the schedule allows, because it needs to serve over two hundred, over over two hundred and thirty million Nigeria right now. He has removed subsidy. It needs people are suffering, people are crying every day, and he could feel their pain. It was in Lagos recently. People are telling him, "Actually, we are crying, we are suffering, but we trust you. We know you are going to do the best for us. That's why we didn't protest. That's why the Nigerian Labour Congress, you know, slowed down. That's why a lot of civil society slowed down because they believe in his capacity. To that, at the end of the day, the masses will enjoy. Nigerians will enjoy across the North Sahara, across the North Desert, 
to the creek of Niger Delta and, this, and, and, this, and the western country, part of this country. You know, it needs to address the monetary issue. It needs to address the oil and gas, oil and gas sector. It needs to ensure that the market forces reduce the price of PMS. It needs to ensure that there is sufficient gas. You can imagine gas has dropped almost about 40 percent because the market is open. You know, and we have to look at what this what this gentleman is doing. Is forcing is what they call community economy is compressing the economy of this country to prosperity, allowing the prices of goods and services to force the price into into reality. He has opened up the oil and gas downstream upstream center. Yesterday, he signed almost five billion dollars floating gas station. So these are the issues that we should discuss yeah. about what I expect the media, you know, to look into what he's doing. And if the oppositions who are the who are the major opposition, the PDP and the Labour Party, should come up with their strategy, you know, to key into what is doing, or they can also raise their own objection in terms in terms of you know criticizing, you know, diligent crit criticism of what is doing. So if somebody is meeting, if anybody is meeting uh, Ashwadu, if the schedules allow, I know it's very busy. I know it's going to have a lot of meeting. We have a revenue shortage in this country. We have um, um, workers' issue increment of payment of worker because it must increase. He has to increase the wage, 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 um, wage wages, wages of civil servant. He has to do a lot of things for you know for young um, students in this country. You know, ensuring that those people that deserve to be supported are given the loan. He has to do a lot of things. He has to submit his ministry, you know, uh, um, list. Yeah. So why will it be bad about somebody not happy? With the what is that? So, are you a senator now? Is he the senate president or is he a member of national assembly? Well, Honorable Dr. Oshinawa Ibrahim, I think this is a good place to leave this conversation and see how your party tidies up all of this uh, coming out from your access. Uh, thank you so there is much. Nothing to, there is nothing to tidy up. And I've told you, this, if you want to bring me to your show, I will not come next time if I'm spending five minutes, ten minutes. I ask arise, I won't come there. There are any five minutes, ten minutes. I'm All right. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to me. fix that. We'll fix that, yes. and 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 it's because we have a second hot topic to discuss. So next time, what we're going to factor is when you're coming. Honorable Dr. Shinowo will be treated as the only guest on the program that day. How does that sound? It sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I but, really appreciate. It. So don't worry, please. Don't worry. There's no fiction in our. But party. we are not That's worried. Right. We are not worried at yeah. all. But we are Nigeria watching. Nigeria shouldn't worry. We're you know, not flipping is normal. It's allowed. Members of, uh, you know, we, we are just concerned you know, um, to see all of this playing out. We are observing and we are reporting as journalists uh, so that Nigerians will be fully aware of some of the That's games good. being played by uh, some of the political actors in the country. Thank you so much. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And you should just relax and enjoy your Latin and boost your leadership. That's just it. Enjoy yeah. your day. Thank you so much for Thank being a so part much. of the program. My regards, my humble regards. Thank you so much. Okay, it's time for us to move to our second hot topic. We've had Honorable Dr. Oshinawa Ibrahim, uh, who has joined us to look at the crisis uh, brewing in the APC camp. He says we, dis we should dismiss those who are uh, flipping. Um, so that is the story which we have brought to you as uh, members of the Ford Estate of the Ram. Let's have your thoughts on this. You can go to our social media platforms and let us know your thoughts on this discussion that's brewing. Right now, we'll move on to our second hot topic. Stay with us.